everyone welcome back to the channel of Guru Ro and today we are going to discuss about MBA in the time of a tweet and how new technology has changed the world of business education. There has been a great deal of change in the world of business education over the last decade. Find out how this new era of technology has transformed MBA programs and how emerging technologies can help you understand what's coming next for business education. Before moving on to the video, let's discuss what we will be covering in this video. Number 1. What is an MBA degree? Number 2. The history of MBA. Number 3. How new technology has changed the world of business education. And lastly, number 4. How to decide which degree is right for you. So are you guys aware of what actually is an MBA degree? So MBA degree is a Master of Business Administration degree. This business degree is typically obtained from a business school or university. An MBA program usually lasts for two years, although some programs take longer to complete. An MBA degree can provide students with the skills and knowledge necessary to succeed in various business related fields. Students who obtain an MBA degree often work in management positions, in companies or start their businesses. There are several different types of MBA programs available and each program has its strengths and weaknesses. As such, prospective students must research various programs before deciding which one to attend. If you are interested in doing MBA from a top international university with fractional cost, check out gururo.com. You can also get the link of the best MBA course from a top university in the description below. Now let's talk about the history of MBA. Are you guys aware of when MBA actually started? So the Masters of Business Administration degree have a long and storied history. The first MBA program was offered by Harvard Business School in 1901. Since then, the MBA has become the most popular professional degree in the world. Today, there are more than 2000 MBA programs globally. Most of these programs are still grounded in the traditional business principles and practices. However, new technologies are starting to change in the landscape of business education. One of the most significant changes in the way that information is disseminated. In the past, students had to rely on professors and textbooks to learn business concepts and strategies. Today, there are a wealth of information available online. In addition, students can easily find articles, videos and podcasts that cover any topic they want to learn about. The abundance of information has led to a change in how MBA programs are structured. In the past, programs were focused on imparting theoretical knowledge. Today, many programs place a greater emphasis on practical skills and experience. The shift reflects the changing needs of businesses in the digital age. Another consequence of new technologies is the rise of online MBA programs. Yes, you heard it right. These programs offer a flexible and convenient way to earn an MBA without relocating or taking time away from work. Online MBAs are also typically more affordable than traditional programs. The popularity of online MBA programs is likely to continue to grow in the coming years as more businesses embrace digital technologies. New technologies have already had a profound impact on MBA degree. Likely, the impact will only become more pronounced in the future. Now before continuing the video, I would like to inform you guys that Gururo is a one-stop destination to transform your career through higher education and executive programs. Gururo provides top undergraduate and postgraduate courses at a fractional cost. So, if you want to advance in your career, consider booking a free consultation at the link in the description. Alright, now moving on, let's discuss about our main topic. How new technology has actually changed business education? It's no secret that technology has changed the world of business education. As a result, business schools have had to adapt to new technologies and how students learn and consume information has changed dramatically. 
One of the most significant changes has been the rise of online learning. Online courses and programs have become more prevalent in the recent years as they offer a flexible and convenient way to get a business education. Another significant change is how students use technology in their studies. Students use laptops, tablets and smartphones to access course materials, submit assignments and connect with their professor outside class. This has led to more interactive and engaging learning experience. Finally, social media has also had an impact on business education. Platforms like Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook provide an excellent way for students to network with each other and connect with industry leaders. These platforms can also be used for research purposes or to stay up to date on current business trends. Now let's discuss how to decide which degree is right for you. Yes. Choosing the right degree is a personal choice that depends on your goals and interests. However, there are some general factors to consider when deciding between a DBA and MBA. Here are some things to think about when choosing the right degree for you. Number one, what is your long-term career goals? Number two, do you want to specialize in a particular area of business? Number three, do you want to pursue an academic or research-oriented career? Number four, how much time and money are you willing to invest in your education? If you're interested in pursuing a leadership role in business, then an MBA may be the right choice. MBA programs prepare students for management positions in companies of all sizes. So if you're interested in doing MBA from a top international university with fractional course, check out gururo.com. You can also get a link to the best MBA course from a top university in the description below. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Do hit the subscribe button for receiving educational content like this. Happy learning. See you in the next video.